Uh, this is Maginani. Here's my review for Return of Bruce Wayne number three. You can see Captain G Sparrow is on the cover, and uh, I just want to let you know none of this happens. There's no cool pirate battles. There's no wenches. There's no ale. There's no epic sea battles between pirates and marines. It's a uh, it's a total letdown. I'm really sad. Really pissed off. I want to sue somebody. Anyways, you have Dark Side, Dark Side and Bruce, Batman. You know. Darkseid's going to remember, Batman's like, gotcha, and then he gets zapped. So we go to the pirate era time, you have Blackbeard, he thinks Bruce is this guy called the Black Pirate, and they were fighting, apparently, the Black Pirate and Blackbeard, I mean, I guess black is the only color that they have, and, you know, I, I kind of have to wonder, I bet, you know, Blackbeard's a real heartbreaker with the women, you know, and, you know, one, what a wonderful way to say hello to Bruce, you know, thinking, accusing him of something he's not. Anyways, so, you know, Blackbeard wants to get, get his treasure thing, and then he, um, um, there's this other boy, cabin boy-like guy that also got captured. Where is he? Somewhere. Anyways, um, oh, there he is, right over there. And, um, he wants to know where his treasure is, and Bruce is like, sure, I, I can take you there, there's no problem. Now, when another pirate finds the uh, cape and mask, so they automatically assume that Bruce Wayne is the black pirate. And there's Cabin Boy, dude. And anyways. Now, Bruce is taking them to these the caves, which has obviously got them, and this is obviously the bat cave. And there's death symbols everywhere, skulls with bats on them. I guess this is, this is their way of telling people, hey, you know, you might not want to uh, collect butterflies here. And then, you know, I also want to, I'm surprised that, you know, Batman's not crying because that girl is gone now. Anyway. So Batman goes into the tunnel, caves, whatever, and they're followed. Uh, he whistles and on cue three dart-like things with bats go flying, and there's bat people hanging, and I'm like... I'm already, this is so stupid. Now, they're, they're, he, obviously there's, since there's bats in this cave, you know, the bats poo and they're, it's turning into methane. The good thing, you know, they figured this out because I'm sure it have been really, really hard to breathe, you know. Anyway, so he's warning the people, hey, there's traps in here, and he says, watch for elevated parts of the ground. Obviously, pirates touch it, and they get... You know, burn. I mean, he's they, it fired up. You know. So we go to the future, and you know, I, this must be right after the events of Final Crisis with that with um, Tim, not Tim, but um, Dick and Damien, and then the whore. There's your whore, Wonder Woman. She's not a whore, but just go along with it since it's a pirate book. Now, apparently, Tim Drake as the Red Robin here is trying to convince these superheroes here about you know Bruce Wayne's alive. Now, I wonder about her, because then she get totally jacked up by Dr. Light. And what the hell is this gorilla guy doing here? And this dude who's, a, I believe, from the Titans? Come on, you know, this is... God. Ugh. Anyways, you know, who know? I, I, I can't even place where this is, because this is looks like, I said, events after Final Crisis with Damien, which doesn't make sense. And then you have Tim Drake here, who, you know, went on a quest to find Bruce Wayne and just gave up the quest once that storyline with the Raul goal is done. So where does this fit? You know, I don't care. Uh, they're talk, but they are talking about Superman and those guys going into the future end of time. So you have, you know, Gossip Man right here, and he's talking to Bruce, and Bruce figured out, hey, you know, I was, I was going through the, the caveman times, and I was went to the, the pilgrim times, which was 1640, about... And now this is 17, 18. So let's put something into perspective here. You know, obviously from caveman to pilgrim times, he did a significant jump. Then from pilgrim times to uh, pirate times, there's like 100 years or so. And then when you go to Jonah Hex, that's about another 100 years approximately. And then you go to Sherlock Holmes, which is, you know, pretty much like close to the same time frame. And I'm going, you know... What a way to jump through time. You know, all you did was just do a tiny hop and go sideways to a different country. You know, well, I guess it would probably be Victorian era Sherlock Holmes Gotham. Sorry, all you purists out there. You know, 
obviously this is a clear indication of them just trying to sell toys. And the fact that they didn't do the Dark Knight medieval set was it's a crime in itself because you got you you, you could have sold horse knight batman then there's morgana catwoman batman and i mean it would have been endless but no no they skip they skip what would have been logical medieval night time batman anyway so the gossip man here gives bruce his cape because he's actually the black pirate now if you remember you know how big this cape here is. He stuck it in his jacket because this, in his shirt, this gets significant. So you know, Blackbeard, who's got fire right next to his beard, which makes a lot of sense. You know, he sees something's going on, and Bruce conveniently jumps into the water below. And then Bridge of Death, he's smiling because bad people are attacking, and he's in league with the bats. Now I want to now remember how tiny that that cloak was. Look how big this cloak is. What is this? Is this like the type of cloth that you put in water and it grows 18 times its normal size here? Come on. So they all fight. He goes, yeah! They battle it out. And, you know, of course, you know, Bridge of Death. And Bruce gets the upper hand. And uh, they push them in. Where are they? Yeah, they say they push them into the, the water the river below. And then... Gossip Man goes, hey, Batman, um, why don't you go to this cave here because they have something to tell you. You know, this is like some weird kind of surreal Korean dream or something because this is just crazy. Now, he goes into this thing and there's the altar where there's the bat cape and then the the belt and then the boots. And I'm like going, this thing survived, what, through caveman times? Come on, you know, what is this made out of some industrial plastic that just doesn't biodegrade or something like that? Oh shit, man! He could have made a fortune selling this on, you know, without, you know, you know what I mean. Anyways, this is getting kind of frustrating. Anyway, so it's it's eclipse time, and when it's eclipse time, that means he's got to go. It's convenient that when he jumps through time, he's jumping right near a time of an eclipse, you know. So he goes away, and yeah, you know, just so you guys don't think Batman would kill somebody, they see them get away here. They're saying this is a cursed Gotham, in case you didn't figure it out. So, anyways, you follow Gossip Man through time, and you know, at this time, you know, he didn't have a girl because you know he didn't have no game. So what he did was he did some bat style and followed some simple rules. You know, he put on something nice here. Then uh, he wasn't nervous when he met the girl. And he was just himself, and now he wants himself a girl, and then the um, kids, and then he's an old man now. Now, we fast forward a little bit to Jonah Hex time, and then you see the Joker some card. And I'm like going, you know, this would have been nice if they didn't have any type of reference through time like that, but of other villains. But no, they have to put the Joker in there, because, you know, it's cute. And then you have some guy here going, hey, there's this bad Batarang thing, he's in my buddy here. So that just shows now that he's been there at least three days. So I'm wondering, what's this like, deal with the Eclipse thing? Is it just there for convenience sake type thing? And then there's Cowboy Batman, which is really stupid. Now, I, 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 this type of story just infuriates me because it's, it's utter garbage. You know, so I was thinking, I spent a lot of time thinking, you know, how can we make this story better? And, and there's only one, one way I can think of it. And that is cop taking One Piece. One Piece is the best pirate manga, best manga, best story ever. In Japan, the last two volumes of One Piece sold over 2 million copies each, and they're still selling. And they just came out this year, so that tells you something. So, the only way I say to make this better is just take the One Piece manga, slap it in between the cover, and now I have something readable. This is garbage, this is filth, this pirate Batman doesn't even happen. It's a marketing tool to sell toys for you chumps out there. Don't buy it. That's my review.